Ramadan Meat Sales Account by Governor North Bank Region Lamin S. I. Yame, dated before the Commission 21st September 2017. Admitted Mark MS 51. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Jame, <clears throat> as a seasoned administrator, do you think do you think it was part of your duties to be involved in the selling of meat? Um, yes, I think it depends on the angle from which it is viewed. If the sale of meat is viewed as a welfare intervention, I would take it to be normal in the functions of a governor to involve in matters of welfare for one's people. If how, it is, how do you, how, okay, you have something else to add? Yes, if it is viewed as a commercial in that undertaking for financial profiteering, it will be an anomaly and therefore a misplacement as responsibility to a governor. Now, you were ahead of your administration, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you went, to, you went or authorized someone to go to the central bank to receive funds. Okay. As governor, there was a process in place by which monies can be given to your region for any purpose. Was that process used in the, in the, in the <clears throat> disbursement of the 600,000? I... Was that process used? It should be a simple answer of yes or no. No, I want to be excused to qualify it. You by can some, you answer by the some, question first and yes, then you can qualify conditions. it. Uh, Answer the question first, and then you can qualify it if you want. Was, me, was the process by which you receive funding from government for any purpose, be it welfare or any other official purpose, was that process used when the 600,000 was disbursed to you? Ma, I... I want to believe that for any money that is given to me as governor, two important factors are there. One, for what the money was meant for, and two, the source from which it was coming. Uh, were it there is, other occasions when you... Sorry, Mr. Jame. Yes. You are here to assist us. Okay. Uh, you listen to us first, and All then right. we will listen to what you have to say. Now, where, would there, was there any other occasion when you went to Central Bank to receive money for any purpose relating to your region? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, give us an example. Uh, when I went to Central Bank to receive money. Yes. For example, uh, regional celebrations of our national day. Mm -hmm. You go to Central Bank yes. to receive money? Where it is On approved day. that regional celebrations are being, <clears throat> uh, I go to Central Bank through Treasury, through? To, Treasury okay. to receive money. Through Treasury? Yes. Did you go through Treasury to receive the 600000 as well? This one... No. Was there any other monies you received directly from Central Bank? Without going through Treasury, I mean. I cannot remember any. This was the only one you can remember? Yes. All right. Now, let's go back to the issue. You said if it's meant for welfare of your people, mm -hmm. it's, 
then it's, it's fine. But did you realize this money was being received from a particular account? <clears throat> I did not know from any account that it came from. Hmm. In fact, my understanding was that it came from President Jammeh as Yajan. It came from? Yeah, Jammeh, President Jammeh. Himself? Asya, yes. I see. Okay, that was your understanding? That was my understanding. Um, I assume you have a, an administrative setup, okay. and if you were to receive any money which by way of a grant, because what you described as money for the welfare of your people, subsidized, I suppose that would be a grant, right? Mm -hmm. If you were to receive such a thing, do you have a, 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 an administrative process whereby this money would then be channeled and be accounted for? As far as I'm concerned, frankly, I do not know any administrative process for which the money could be channeled. Uh, for example, so, <clears throat> regarding it as a welfare scheme, uh, any philanthropist, in my understanding, can come and donate any money for the welfare of the people of the region. And how would you deal with such money? Would you keep it and account for it in your diary, Mr. Jami? No, depending again on the purpose. For example, if it is something regarding disaster, I will receive the money, invite, uh, invite the disaster management committee of the region, plus the coordinator, the structure that is responsible, and it will be tabled by the committee for onward distribution to the beneficiaries. So in this case, you received the money and you gave it, did you give it to anyone or you were the one who bought the animals and dealt with the whole? I received the money and bought the animals because even by delegation, if I buy animals through delegation, it is still me who is officially responsible okay. for the account. All right, let, let me just move on to some other issue. Were you involved in the um, buying, buying of boats? or building of boats on behalf of the office of the president? Um, I remember being involved partly in matters of boats. And the origin of it was that when the president came on tour, we visited a rice field in Jokadu and went to a tender, meaning a landing site called Samakum where we found a Senegalese man constructing a boat. Then we went to the boat. What is the, sorry, what is the name of the Senegalese man? I, cannot, I, don't, I don't even know his name. Do you know one Alhaji Jas Sam? Alhaji? Jas Sam. Yes. Where, where does he live? Bara. Bara. Yes. Were you aware of him being given a contract to build boats? Yes, I, I was, because uh, what I wanted to say about Jokadu was that the president uh, shown, had shown interest in the boats, and he said, let me take it up with the man. Uh, having realized all the disadvantages that were involved surrounding the Senegalese man, I later on wrote to the president's office to advise the president through the secretary general to say, in my opinion, you said you are interested in boats but it can be better done in Bara by Gambians than to the, um, by this Senegalese at Samakum. Did he order for boats to be built by al Haji Jassam? Yes. How many boats are you aware of? Uh, the boats were four. I, I did the correspondence. The boats were four. Uh, it appears there is a conflict in my understanding whether it was Alaji Jazz Sam or whether it was Alaji Fai and uh, Karafa Sam. All right? But however, these were the people involved. When I advised that um, the, the job can be easily done in Bara than at that other location, it became accepted. And these people were assigned the responsibility to build the boats. Do you know how many boats in total were built? Four. Four. As far as, as I know. Four. Yes. Do you know what became of the boats? The boats when they were built. What do you know what became of them? No, I I don't know that. 
I know that I was, I was making follow-ups during the construction and that at a point in time when they were finished, they were advised to do the handing over in Banjo. So I was in present. You were not present. Yes. The boats were handed over in Banjo. Yes. Who handed over? Do you know who? Who did you advise to hand over? I did not advise. You said you advised them to hand over the no, boats it, in Banjo. It was advised that the boats be brought to Banjo. Who advised? Office of the President. Ah, okay. Who, who brought the boats to Banjo? Do you know? I want to believe, I, I was not present, I did not know, but then when I got the information, informed these people to hand over the boats, uh, the, the builders were informed if this could be allergy sum, allergy, allergy file or uh, sum, uh, allergy sum, and carafa. They, were, they carafa. were informed. Sorry, carafa who? The name, carafa? Two, two people were involved in the building. Okay. Two. Mm -hmm. I'm saying uh, the two that were involved were Alaji Fai and Karafasam. Karafasam. That is why I'm making the correction that if I had written Alaji Jassam, it was a misinterpretation of the person. It wasn't Alaji Jassam, but Alaji Fai. Because after the tour, I, I wrote a follow up letter to pending issues that were in my region. Among them was the matter of these boats. The, the boats that were built, what, they, what were they meant for? Were they for fishing or for honestly, carrying passengers? Between, or what honestly, were they meant between for? me and God, I don't know. All so what, what I know is that the president had shown interest. And yes, he said, what, what type of boats were they? That's why. I'm, I'm not, were, I'm not questioning were, what you said about your own knowledge. What yeah. I want to understand is what type of boats they were. Were they featured after they were built? Were they, they were? meant for passengers or for fishing? Do you know? What type of boats were they? I saw the boats when they were being constructed. Mm -hmm. I cannot remember seeing them when they were being prepared for the handing over. Okay. But I know that in terms of size, they were between 17 to 20 meters length in size, and they were supposed to be about three meters wide and one point not less than 1.5 meters depth. What are those types of boats meant for? Let me put it that way. Much as I'm a Nyominka, frankly, I do not know. Was it you who arranged for the building of the boats? Yes, I arranged it. Did you tell them, were you told what type of boats you should communicate to the boat builders? I was shown the type, I was shown the type which the president saw on the, at Samakum, a sample. And I therefore, when I invited these people to discuss with them, the issue of building this, taking them as priority over the other group, I told them, verbally explaining it to you isn't enough. I want you to go to Samakun Tender to see the boat which is being constructed, and you build one like that. Where is Samakun Tender? Samakun is in Jokado, uh, near Bakang, I think. The, the type of boat you, used, you saw, what was it used for? I said... They are like boats uh, flying from Bara to Banjul. Carrying, carrying passengers and goods. You know, the same boats that can be used for carrying passengers to a large degree can also be used even for fishing. That's why I'm asking you, the one you saw at Samakung Tender, uh -huh. what was it being used for? It was being constructed, and because the work wasn't finished, I could not tell okay. what it was meant for, really. All right, thank you. Now, the issue of, I'd uh, like us to move to a third issue, tractors. During your tenure as um, governor, uh -huh. did you receive tractors from the office of the president? Yes, I, yes I, I did receive tractors. On how many occasions? Once. What type of tractors were these? I cannot remember the mark, but they are green tractors. Okay, what year? Uh, 
pardon me for not remembering that year. Do you remember whether they are Mahindra tractors or John Deere tractors? I know that they are not Mahindra, okay. so right. they may be John Deere. How many tractors were? Three. Um, three. These were allocated to who? The region. They the were region. allocated. How were they distributed? How many? How were they distributed? No, they are not distributed. Okay, where? They are, they are being kept at the uh, center, at the regional headquarters in my office. And the management is done by a committee, a management committee. And this is the committee that is responsible, of course, chaired by myself then as governor of the region. Um, so this I, is the I committee mm. that manages the tractors. And while they are being kept there, the communities are informed and sensitized. And that when the need arises, the community members across the region apply through the regional office, either my office or the agricultural office directorate. Did you leave them there, these tractors? Yes, I left them and included them in the handing over and also in the inventory of assets belonging to the... Did you, did, were you allocated any vehicles from the office of the president, apart from your official vehicles? No. Were any vehicles distributed in your region whilst you were there? While I was there? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. The government did not bring any vehicles to me. Thank you. No further questions for Mr. Jami on my part. Very well, uh, Mr. Jami, you may go, please. Pardon? You may go. You may Thank leave. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. I wonder whether when I say this. Um, I called Sally Kui. Are you going back? No, I'm going to call. I swear by the Almighty Allah. I swear by the Almighty Allah. That the evidence I shall give to this commission. That the evidence I shall give to this commission. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing. And nothing. But the truth. But the truth. So help me Allah. So help me Allah. Could you kindly state your full names? My name is Mr. Sari Pui. Where do you live, Mr. Pui? I live in Kololi. What work are you doing at the moment? No, I'm not engaged in any work at the moment. You are a public servant? Yes. Um, and governor of 
LRR. LRR. Yes. For how long? Well, uh, previously, I was there previously 2000, 2004 as deputy. Then later, nine years later, I came back as the governor from, two, from 2013 to 17. Would you like to sit down, please? Thank you. Thank you. So you're a governor for, from, you said you were governor from? LRR. No, from which period? The governor? From governor, uh, that was October 2013 up to February 2017. And um, between the period you were deputy governor and governor? Yeah, what, I, were, what were you doing? Uh, I was deputy governor 2000 up to 2014. 2004, sorry. 2004? To 2013. You were deputy governor for what, from which period? I said 2000 up to 2004. Yes, and between 2004 and 2013, were you in the public service? No, I was not. Because I was terminated, and then nine years later, I was called back and then I was the uh, governor from then. Within that period, I was not engaged with the public servant service. What I want to understand <clears throat> is you said from 2000 to 2004, you were a deputy governor. Yes. From 2004 until 2013, what were you doing? Well, I, you know, I'm a, prof I'm a trained teacher. I started as teaching from, two, from 1979, then later went to the college, became qualified. I was all the time teaching before I got the job as a deputy. Within that time, I was doing my own private teaching. I had a nursing school. And I was, this is what I was doing. So between 2004 and 2013, you were teaching? Yes. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that for the record. Um, Mr. Pui, in July 2014, you received $600,000 from the Central Bank? Yes. What was it meant for? Well, uh, we were called upon by... Uh, servants of the uh, state house if by, i can remember sorry, by Sa what of the state house huh? what i didn't catch the word you said servants I s yes okay. i mean what the the, the 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 what i would mean is the the they called me from state house sana and uh, nua ture they were responsible that we should receive six thousand and then help the six hundred thousand six hundred thousand and help the people so that they can have meat during the course of the Ramadan. Okay. Yes. So you were called and you went over there? Then I went over there and then we received the amount. But the instruction given was that we should uh, pay back 500,000. Okay. Yeah, because uh, the price was low. According to them, they said $75 for steak and 60 for meat and bone. So considering that, I think this is why they said we should return back 500000 I see. And you received the money? Yes. From Central Bank? From Central Bank. Did you find that normal to receive the money from Central Bank account to go and say buy meat for your people? Well, uh, I have never done that and uh, uh, I have never been instructed to do that and it was not normal. But it was an instruction for us to do it. Hmm. Was there a meeting? Was there a meeting of governors about the issue? Well, we just converged when they were distributing the sugar. Then, Serakunda, that is Combo area, and the West Coast, they were benefiting from this meat for almost all those years. Then they decided that uh, the provincial people also should benefit from that uh, goodwill gesture from the president. So this is how we conceived the idea. 
and then they call us to do it. And then for us, definitely, it wouldn't also be bad to the people. Hence, they would also want to taste from uh, what the others were also getting. I but see. it so was not our demand to get it, uh, actually. The suggestion came from the governors? The, the suggestion but came from the president that we should, we should get that amount of money. Yes, but you're, you're referring to um, KMC benefiting from, from such an arrangement. Yeah, they but have do been, you know whether KMC was receiving money or was receiving they were, money? You, they used to give them bulls. I see. And then they will sell and then at a lower price so that at least the people also will get meat at a cheaper price. Mr. Pui, when you went to the central bank to receive money, I'm sure you must have observed that you are being paid money from public funds. Mm, yes, I know that the central bank is the bank of the people, the bank of the state. Yes. I know that. The bank of the people. It certainly yeah. is the bank of government, not the bank of the people. Now, so did you have any objection? Did you raise any queries about receiving money from central bank to go and buy bulls to sell in no i did not make any query mm -hmm. because they asked me to do so and i did you, not and you carry out instructions yes mm -hmm. I see. so did you sell the meat no i was not selling actually because uh, i don't have experience in selling meat so what i did is uh, um, i contacted the veterinary inspectors so that they can help or they can be part of the team in inspecting the meat before it is sold to the people. I also uh, who, who discussed... Was selling, who discussed, was selling the meat? Uh, before? Who did you delegate to sell the meat? Uh, I delegated, a, I, I selected a butcher and three youths of the area. And uh, I also contacted uh, cattle dealers within the area so that at least we will be able to get uh, at least a bull or a cow every day and then the team would take it to the abattoir, inspected by the inspector, and then later they sell it on the price. Do you have an account of how you spend the 600000 Well, there was no account. You didn't keep because an account? Because we were running at a loss. How would, how would the commission know you, you actually did carry out um, your, the instructions as you saw it? And... Um, sold meat to the people and, 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 and um, you made a loss? Well, I know that uh, 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 the people that I have been dealing with are there and then the, the, the public also were buying the meat. Um, you refunded the 500,000? Yes. I think you'll be required to account for the 100,000 because these were public funds, not funds from the president. Did you think it was money from the president when you received it? Well, I know that it is government funds anyway. I see. But you did not expect to account for it. Is that what you're saying? No, actually what we have, we have been told was that uh, we have to return back the five, uh, 500,000. So knowing fully well that uh, uh, we cannot gain anything from the uh, 100,000, so therefore I was not expecting to uh, give them an account because what we accounted for was the 500,000. In fact, we did not even, I did not even touch that 500,000, knowing fully well that if that huge amount of money is spent, it will not uh, uh, give out any dividend because uh, from the first go, when the first 100,000 was finished, we got only 43,000. All the, uh, all the seven, uh, 57,000 was a deficit. So therefore, uh, we, uh, we added extra three bulls, and then at the end of the day, we only had 18,000 left, out of which the transportation cost and then the, the remuneration of the youths and the butcher. Yes. This is what I would say. All right. Um, I have no further questions for Mr. P. Thank you, uh, Mr. P. You may go now. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Thank you.
I call Mamburinjai. Are we taking a break? Are we taking a break, Mr. Chairman? Very well, at this juncture, we'll rise for 15 minutes. Anything, 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 anything,
need not work anything. Anything, anything. Anything, anything, anything. 22 years. Yeah, yeah, devil be anything. What I watch, I want you to do. the devil you anything. Anything, anything. Anything, anything, anything. Do you know what you beat me? Never had anything.
wakone amunyu anything fonga liga ireo mi bala nyo wa anything 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 by fight the jack can wow the edit this now bombs are going to get can wow the edit anything 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 suka dadi barina can wow the edit suka mommy barina can wow the edit I'm gonna wait for my turn, 'cause it's gonna be soon. 
better will come, my friend. It's gonna be soon or later. Better will come one day. It's gonna be soon or later. Better will come, my friend. Better will come one day. Very well, Council, you may resume. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. May I apply to interpose the Managing Director Guarantee Trust Bank? Because I realize the accounts for the mobilization account documentation hasn't come, gotten yet. I call the Managing Director Guarantee Trust Bank. Remind you of your oath that you're still on the oath. Mr. Bolaji, you have an account at your bank called the mobilization account, operated from the office of the president. What is the account number? The account number is um, 202-154-675-110. When was it opened? It was uh, opened on the... Sorry, sorry. Can, can we get the number again, please? 202 slash... One five four. You submit the account opening package. Okay, the 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 signatures were Mumu Sabale, 